comes out now, I'm all done, doesn't he? Look at him. He comes out now, I'm all done. Finished finish cuddling with the dog. Finish cuddling the dog, mate. Did Not you? I need your touch. <laughs> Good evening guys, how are we all doing? Um, this is part one of a video that I'm gonna continue in the morning. Um, but the reason why I thought I'd do part one and part two is because um, if you've seen my um, if you've seen my van tour video, um, after the van tour, I do a little bit of a talk about how I got into locksmith in and, and um, about I was a carpenter before and why I gave up carpentry, blah, 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 and all that. Anyway, when I gave up carpentry, um, I gave my son, Josh, um, a lot of my carpentry tools. And um, tonight's the perfect example of, the, of, of why I should never have done that. Sorry, Josh. Um, I should have just let you use my tools. But um, I'm doing a job tomorrow, which is a, I'm doing some work on a fire door. Um, there's a fire door that's failed an inspection and so there's a bit of work to do um, and I need my carpentry tools back and I didn't even think about it until today really and I, I text my boy Josh and said oh is it right if I come and grab some bits and he was like ah, yeah I haven't got them they're, um, they're actually in his boss's lockup who is <laughs> my old business partner Wayne um, so I've had to, I've had to go and get Josh, go to, uh, go to uh, somewhere else to get a key for the lockup, go to his lockup, pick up my tools, drop him back and now I'm on my way home. So um, yeah, I'm sorry Josh, but I might have to get my tools back. But anyway, I'll see all you guys in the morning, we'll carry this on. Morning everyone, this is part two. It is probably the darkest, coldest, wettest morning for a long, long time. It's horrible out there. Let me show you, actually. Look at it. It's disgusting. It actually looks lighter in the video for some reason. But anyway, um, right, we're on our way to do that uh, uh, fire door that I was explaining to you about last night. But before we go there, um, I am, I've got a friend, my best mate, one of my best mates, he's coming in to give me a hand today. Well, not, not to give me a hand, he's actually coming in to be my, my cameraman. Um, yeah, he phoned me the other day and just said, what are you doing on Friday? I'm, you know, and I said, oh, just doing a fire door. And he went, oh, I'll come with you actually. So um, yeah, he's, he's just gonna come in, um, which is nice. Um, so I am, um, going to get him then we're going to tool station to pick up some bits then I'm going to my lockup actually I might do that way around I might go get him uh, then go and go to uh, sorry go to my lockup and get some more tools that are there um, then go to tool station and then we can get to the job but um, yeah it's gonna be a uh, a busy busy day I've got a job later on as well at, um, that a lady phoned me last night but she's booked me in for 5.30 this evening um, to look at her broken door lock so yeah busy day uh oh it started here he is <laughs> alright we're at the lock up come to get some more of the bits that my boy didn't steal off of me um, and then we are going to, where are we going Steve? We're going Eaton. to Eaton Road in Hove. But it's just, uh, we'll only be there for a couple of hours. I should try Two that. doors to try go. That. That's right. so I come to my lock up the other day, locked it, that I thought was locked. Just tested it for, for whatever reason. Oh, I can't get in now and it weren't locked. To fix the lock. Right. Oh, well, look Ooh. at this. Because they're real men, mate. Real men. Oh, I 
ain't even got shorts today, but... <laughs> right, here we are, tool station, picking up some bits, one of my favourite places. My God, that was painful. I only went in there, I did, a, I did a click and collect order yesterday for the stuff I needed today, and normally they're pretty good. Normally you go into tool station and you can, uh, you're in and out within a minute if you, if you pre-ordered it. Yeah, they hadn't put it aside. Either that or they, they'd sold it or given it to someone else, but uh, painful, man, painful. Should we get on with my day? because um, there's too much of a gap between the bottom of the door and the floor. So we're going to add a bit of this, we're going to cut this down, we're going to glue it and screw it all the way to the bottom of there. Um, but it's, it's uneven, so I've got, I think it was 18 mil one end up here and, and only 10 mil down this end. So uh, I'll probably, put this is 18 mil, so I'll plant this on and then I'll get my electric plane on it and paint it down to where it needs to be. Little tip for you guys, if ever you want to cut 45, um, you can adjust the actual base, but I'll just bend the, bend the blade. Works, works wonders. Right, so, let's have a bit of timber cut. So what we're gonna do, we'll glue it. It's the right size, so difficult to show you. Funny. We'll glue it and screw it to that. Countersink the screws and then we can mark up um, the actual the cut on this, which is gonna be like a wedge shape, and we'll, we'll get that planed off. I knew there was a reason I had my best mate in with me today, look! <laughs> so, we've glued that up. We've glued the bottom of the door and the timber. The countersunk, I'll pile it and countersunk the screws. So, I'm ready to get this on. We've got a little bit of fixed here. This is flush, fixed there, that's flush. We've got a little bit of a bow, either in the timber or the door. So, just gonna get a G cramp. Oh, there, cheers, um, to see if we can get it flush. That is perfect. So, right, so that's all screwed on, screws will count sunk, and I've marked up where we've got to trim it to. So. We're taking about 11 mil off of this side, down to about a millimetre on this side. Um, we're doing it too tight along the bottom, and I'm lifting the door up as well by about three mil, so because there's a, about a six mil gap at the top. So hopefully that should work. So. So we've added that bit on the bottom. Um, what we've got to do now is just, for the intermission strip, it's just cut down there, chisel that out, and then we're gonna renew the intermission strip so it's not all in bits, up to there, and then remove it up to the top. Don't know who did this before, but not very central with their route then. Right. Strip back in here. I don't know who done 
this we are, look at the state of it. I feel like I want to put some filler in that, even though it's, it's nothing to do with me. But anyway, that's this side done. So we're going to whip the door over now, get the third hinges, the third hinge on the other side, uh, a change of hinges, and then we're almost ready to go back on. I'll have to uh, just chop the hinge in on the frame over here. So we're going to fill that. Yeah. Any chippies watching, you know these things are flipping evil. The amount of times I've caught the digits in these. There's a screw caught in it and all sorts of... Oh, I don't even know what to do. I'm having a there. Oh, there you go. So now I can get to the screws, the four screws, and then I can get that out. Right, so we flip the door over, take the hinges out, got that out. Uh, so, these are the hinges we're using, it's got the little um, fire mark there, so new hinge at the top, this is where we're cutting out for our, hinge, our extra hinge in the middle. This here I'm going to fill with um, some fire retardant cork, which is here, some fire mate. Um, and then we've got another hinge going in there and I've got to cut this out like I did on the other side for the, for the strip. So that's our hinges in and I've cut all the intermission strip to go back in here. I've not fixed it yet, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this hole first with the intermission filler. Just look at the edge, you're going to pump it all in there. Then I can put that in and I'll just fill the side of it as well. So I'll pump over this into the arm. about this job apart from on a, on a data sheet and um, so I didn't know that all the iron mongery was brass and obviously I've picked up silver hinges but I think they're more concerned just that it comes up to regs. Uh, yeah, normally I wouldn't um, really do it but I'm uh, miles away from anywhere that sell brass fire hinges so these are going to have to go on I'm afraid. This is going to fill the hole where the, um, where the perco closer was in the frame. So we'll do this now so it can dry and uh, dry the door in a sec. central hinge and then the bottom hinge we've got to lift up fractionally and the top hinge just like lifts the door up by about two mil just to close the gap along the top. We might have to adjust these as well but we'll see it guys. So we've chopped out our hinge, actually where is the hinge? Let's try it. I promise you now I haven't tried this so it might not. Oh yeah no it's a bit tight to be fair. But we'll it's a fraction out, I think. I'm terrible at holding this phone while I'm trying to work. Um, oh, yeah, it was just a fraction out of that. But anyway, I'll take a bit out of that and then this is dry now so I can give this a sound up. I'm 
chippies. I know a lot of chippies prefer Dewalt or, or um, Milwaukee, but it's Makita all the way for me. It has been for years. I love it. Right, so now we can try in our hinge. So, uh, just got a little bit more sand through there, so that's where the, the old perco was. So now that is in. Lovely, so now we can try the door in. We're almost there, the last one. So, we'll get these hinges into these holes using that. Here we go. So, uh, let's put it over the right to there. Good. Yeah, let's pump this up. Middle's in, bottom's in. Yeah, top right. I'm just going to give it a little bit more of a pump. Just so it's nice and tight. Lovely, right. Pile it. Let's pile it one in each. Uh, can it, that's it. Which style of is that? And that. And that. Right, let's get one screw in this. And then we can test it. Put the door back on, but it's, it's catching here on this leading edge. Um, and what we're going to do, we're just going to take these hinges in a little bit more uh, so that the door moves that way a little bit. And then hopefully that'll ease up this leading edge. Also, you can see now where I've lifted the door a little bit to close the gap along the top. Obviously, you lifted the door, and now the keep is just a little bit low so we're gonna lift it up as well okay guys so the doors shutting nice now we've pulled the hinges over that way a little bit and we've realigned the um the keep and i've realigned this as well because that was also catching so i've realigned the, the uh, mortise lock as well so all that's left to do now is put the door closed up here i've just marked out our positions there there and then the actual arm sits on here, so because it's on this curved bit of architrave, we're gonna um, we're gonna chop that out now, and then that's uh, so sitting a bit flat. Right, so that's that chopped it out, and that's how that shoe will sit in there. So it sits flat now, so we can get this um, get this door closed on. Little arms, get the tidying up. You know how much I love my Hoover. Sometimes these won't work correctly if all the doors are shut, but we have tested it with the door shut. Steve's just loaded all my stuff in there. But yeah, we've all tested it with the door shut and it's been working. Lovely. Beautiful. Cheers, mate. You paranoid the Laura drive past the park. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, yeah. we are on our way to another job. Um, so that fire door's all done. Uh, yeah, on our way to a job, we've just been past there actually, and um, a lady's concerned that uh, uh, her, she's got an inner door, you'll see it in a minute, but she's got an inner door that keeps opening by itself apparently. Um, she's been in the last few days, what she say, three times? It's just open. She's more than that, I think, yeah. Uh, it's got an electronic strike plate on it, but apparently they, 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 it doesn't work. It's not worked for years. Um, Somebody could be using a slip card to get in, I don't know, or someone's got a key, but nothing's ever going missing, um, which is it's a bit of a strange one. So um, for peace of mind, she's just asked if we'll change the lock anyway. So I'm gonna put an ERA anti-slip night latch on there and um, 
hopefully that'll uh, make her feel a bit better. But yeah, it's all a bit of a, all a bit strange, a, a strange one. Right, here we go, guys, we're gonna take this standard night latch off. And this is the door release that doesn't work. Um, she said it hasn't worked for years, so we're gonna replace that with, a, with the actual um, key that comes with the new lock. I've literally lost Steve. He's, it, Steve's a massive dog lover and the customer's in there. Got a lovely dog and he's yeah, rolling around playing with the dog. So, got the back plate fitted. Always check that it's square, which it's not, so it's a very small bit. That's perfect now. So now I can use my pilot beacon, I'm a favourite part of it. That one. So those wires are taped up. Just taped up those wires, even though I know it's not working. Um, it's just good, just good practice, isn't it? At least if anybody does at any time, take it off. Um, I'm not just going to see bare wires. Right, let's get... So there's going to be a little bit of a gap underneath where this one's going. Um, but I'll make the customer aware of that and that's absolutely fine. some physio yesterday morning and finally got some pills from my doctor and it's starting to feel better and then that job we was just on doing that uh, fire door uh, I bent down and as I stood back up I felt something pop in the back of my leg I was thinking just as, I'm, just as my back starting to get better I can't do something to that's my leg I'm kind of hoping the pills that I'm on might sort that out as well but right so let's see if this works now so what I always do is I put one screw in the middle um, and then try that 
because then if it doesn't if it doesn't work or doesn't fit properly you've still got the other two holes or you've not drilled a hole so the flesh holes Best tool in the world, that thing, I'm telling you. Another job done. The trusty ERA with the anti anti slip mechanism there. Like I say, the lady's not worried about any making goods, so they just wanted it. They just wanted it secure, so all done. He comes out now. I'm all done, didn't he? Look at him. He comes out now, all done. Finish, finish cuddling with the dog. Finish cuddling the dog, mate. Did Hold you? on, need your touch. <laughs> right, we're off to the lockup now to get rid of all the tools in the back. Um, the ironic thing is, as you know, from the beginning of the video, I went out late last night to go and get the tools off my son. I didn't use one of them. Didn't use one of the tools that I got from him. So it was a bit of a waste of time, wasn't it? do this all the time. Look at the state of my van again. Look. If anyone's got like a, I don't know, like a Ford Transit Connect. No, Ford Transit Custom that they don't want or they want to swap it for a lovely little Citroen. Look, good little runner. Or Ford, if you're watching, I love Ford Transits. Just, just weigh me in. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Right, that's me done for a little while. Um, what's the time? Just gone three o'clock. I've, I've just taken Steve home. Um, I have got a job booked in at 5.30 for when the lady gets home from work, but uh, I think it's just, I think it's just door adjustments. If it's anything, um, if it's anything a bit beefier than that, I'll record it. So I might see you in a bit, but if not, I'll see you next time. And uh, please give us a thumbs up and, and subscribe to the channel. Cheers guys. Right guys, I'll come down to this uh, the job itself, which um, I'm, uh, it's, it's going to be difficult to film it. She's such a lovely lady. Um, she uh, there's there's actually nothing wrong with her lock. She thought she needed a new lock. There's actually nothing wrong with it. She just had a bent key. So um, yeah, I'm not going to charge her for that. But then she just she literally just said to me, actually, how much would it be to change the lock anyway? Um, because oh, I'm just getting up there. Um, she doesn't know who's got keys, so she decided to change the cylinder anyway, even though she doesn't need to. I've sorted the problem out that was uh, the main problem, but yeah, bless her. She's um, she's a lovely lady, right? So we need a 40 a 45, which is that bad boy there, and she's asked for a card, obviously, I don't have cards. I have my key tags. Oh my god, what's that? I've only got three left. I didn't realise they were. Um, there's only that left. Right. Um, I don't think I'm gonna film uh, putting this in just because she's so lovely, she's probably gonna stand there and chat with me. So, <laughs> right. I'm gone. What a beautiful customer she was. She was so, so lovely. Um, so yeah, she she um, she called me to say that she was having trouble with her lock, and um, and I, and she wants she wanted a price over the phone, ideally. And I just said to her, look, it could be a number of things, and because it was a UPVC door, it could have been the cylinder, it could have been the gearbox, it could have been adjustments needed. So I said, really, I need to come and see it. 
And then, uh, yeah, so when I went down there, it was literally that the key was bent, bless her. So, um, I, yeah, I just straightened out the key and she went, what do I owe you? And I said, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to charge you for that. Um, I know some people watching this would probably are probably thinking, you know, maybe some maybe you're a locksmith and be interesting to know actually if you would have charged. But um, I, I, yeah, I just felt like I couldn't really charge. And it, I mean, it's about twenty about twenty minutes away from my house. Um, but you know what? I, I was out and about anyway, and I just thought oh, it's fine. So I just did it. And then she actually said, um, "Do you know what? I wouldn't mind the new lock anyway because." Um, she doesn't know who's got keys to her her house, so fitted her a new Euro new, uh, fitted her a new Euro cylinder anyway. So um, yeah, it was all good. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll be interested actually. If if you are if you're if you're a locksmith and you're watching this, um, I'd be interested to know if you would have charged because uh, you know yeah that sort of thing. I literally put the key in there and I could, I could see straight away that it was just just bent it was bent it back for a bless her. but anyway right that is me i am not doing anything else at the moment my fiance has gone out tonight on the lash so i've got a night to myself lovely you watch i'll get calls tonight i'll bet i'll be getting some calls i bet you if i don't get any work calls i'll be getting a call from her wanting wanting picking up at stupid o'clock but um anyway um Thanks for watching again, guys. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, see you again soon. Thanks.